All right, folks, uh, welcome to my Oculus home. I'm on the Starship Enterprise. It's five-year journey. <laughs> anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is something that I find very cool. It is in beta. It's called uh, Horizon Workrooms. It's made by uh, Facebook, but I think this is going to change instead of people using Zoom calls and whatnot, and I'll get into it when I show it. Um, if you have a VR headset, you can work with people in VR, have whiteboards, all kinds of stuff. And people that aren't in VR can also join, but they don't get the VR experience. You just see their screen with their webcam uh, for people that don't have VR. But at least it allows both. So people that don't have VR can join your workroom. All right. So uh, let's launch. And I'll show you what it's about. Uh, clear your desk for your safety. I don't know if you can see the pass through that I'm seeing right now. Uh, chances are not. I believe when I'm recording in the headset. So let me explain. Uh, well, actually, let me confirm this. So here I am in my office, my virtual office. Um, and now let me explain something. On the headset, there are cameras. There's four of them, I believe, maybe five, maybe six. But they're the things that track, you know, your controllers. Let me set my controllers down. Oop, I bumped my uh, cord on my phone. And uh, turn on hand tracking. See that? So this is how the cameras track. Now, one of the things you can do is you see that brown line around my desk. Let me get these controllers over here. Um, it's a pass-through. So if I come over here and turn on desktop pass-through... You're seeing a black square, but I'm literally seeing my desk in the real world. Here's my phone. You can't see it's in black. I can see my keyboard, my mouse. So this is a pass through to the real world of my desk. So I can use my keyboard, everything. So let me give you a prime example. So I'm gonna pick up a controller. So there's my controller. Now watch what happens. If I put my controller down on my desk, I literally can see the controller now, my real, the real world controller, and you've noticed it's gone from my hand. If I reach in to my desk and pick up my controller and bring it out, there is the controller in VR. So it's totally interactive. Look, a message just came in on my phone. Now, one thing about the cameras, and I'm sure when another version of the Oculus Quest comes out, not the two, it'll have color and be less grainy. But these cameras are black and white. And they're a little grainy. For instance, I, I wish I could show you. All you're seeing is a black square, but I can see my keyboard. From this distance, I can't, I can't read the keycaps on the keys. But if I get a little closer, I can now read the keycaps. So if you can type without looking at the keyboard, you'd be all set. Uh, I can, except for some things um, that I look at the keyboard for. So I'm not that good at typing without looking at the keyboard for some things. But I can do my arrow keys, everything. So, and I know this video isn't doing it justice because I know the Quest, when it's recording in the headset, will not record the pass-through. So I'm just letting you know that. But you're thinking, well, wh what's the big deal here, Finless, Bob? Um, well, again, I'm in my office. Uh, one thing I can do, and since I'm just going to fire this up, is I can, oop, let me now, let me hit enter on my keyboard is I can look at my desktop. Let me switch to my other monitor. Is I can look, let me make it larger. Is I can look at my real PC's desktop. So um, now, one thing, you might say, Bob, well, this is no big deal. I can do this with remote desktop. There's other apps that allow you to see your PC when you're cable connected, which I'm not, uh, or wireless now. Um, but, you know, if I go reach for my mouse, whoops, let me move this controller over here. If I go reach for my mouse, as you see, I can interact with my PC just like it's my PC, right? Uh, you know, I can start a YouTube video and watch YouTube video. Now, one bummer is 
is the video audio of my PC is still coming out of my PC speakers. I can't seem to change that. I've tried everything. It won't come out of the headset speakers. And that'll become important later when I show the whiteboard in the meeting rooms. Um, anyway, so that's it with the desktop. I mean, other than that, you can go into a home and you can uh, on your room. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, let me talk about my avatar. So this is what I look like in VR. So when I go into the conference room, uh, this is what how people will see me. My nice Hawaiian shirt. You see I'm talking. If I hold my put my controller down or hold my hands up, turn on hand tracking again. There's hand tracking. I can point at you. This is how you'd see me in VR. Now, you can edit your avatar right down over here and uh, make it however you want to look make yourself look like i made myself look like this i gotta be honest with you i played with the avatar for a little bit not too long trying to find something that looked like me personally i don't think it looks like me but as you can see my lips move to my voice other things now i'm getting a little bit of lag because i'm recording at the headset at full uh 1080 so a little bit of lag with my lips but that doesn't happen when you're not recording anyway like i said full hand tracking baby so uh the way you do things like watch, I can pull up my Oculus menu by holding my palm. And there you see I'm now I can quit this application. I can resume. I can start recording. I can do other things. Full hand tracking, baby. Yeah. So anyway, let's take a look. I'm going to pick up my controller again simply because I'm getting used to hand tracking. And uh, I am going to show you what this rooms is all about. So I'm going to join my room. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, didn't know that. You can check battery time, headset, battery right at the desktop. It takes a little while to get in here. It's talking to a server. So here we are in a meeting room. Now, this is where I left off. Now, again, I've got pass-through on so I can see my real desk. If I don't want to see my real desk, I can uh, turn that off. And I can turn on this whiteboard. Skip, I already did this. In which, as you see, anything... I, now, the way you do this is you actually hold your... You actually, uh, you actually hold your pen. Uh, it wants me to create this again. Why? Okay, come on. Why are you doing that to me? All right, hold on. Let me move my keyboard out of the way. It's forcing me to recalibrate my desk here, my drawing surface. There we go. All right, so what you can do here is, you know, I can select a color, and I can, if I want, I can scroll on the board. I'm going to go over to the right over here where I haven't drawn. Pick up the pen, select green, and I can literally draw, see that, on this and collapse now. Realize what we're looking at here. This is a conference room. If I invited people to my conference room or turned on guests so other people could join and I told them my conference room name, they could join me and they'd be sitting there looking however their avatar is. If... It's somebody who isn't in VR. They'll show up here on this screen like a, uh, a Zoom web call. You know, you'll see their real self from their webcam. So they can join and collaborate. So I can point at things here. Uh, again, I can draw, so I'll change color again. I mean, this is unbelievable. I, I can see this changing virtual office, right? So, it, and it's so accurate, I could literally sign my name, although I'm not very good at it, right? So... As you can see, it's unbelievable. So if you wanted to collaborate, draw things, uh, sketch things. Now, the the uh, keep drawing. So here's the other cool thing. So I can pull up my computer if I need to look at a, at, at a slide or I want to show something on my mail. Now, dig this. I'm going to share it to the whiteboard. Bingo. Then I'm going to minimize. Now I'm sharing to the whiteboard. So if I wanted to... And watch, when I move my mouse, my real mouse, and I have I don't have pass-through on right now, but if I, I can play this video. And everybody can watch it. Now, the thing I was talking about is I'm still hearing the audio from this on my PC speakers, not in the headset. They need to enable that somehow. 
I went through my device manager in the Oculus because it's not connected via Oculus Quest uh, app. I can't tell the audio to output to my headset speakers and thus everybody else in the room. So it wouldn't be good. Here. So it wouldn't be good to uh, to share with other people. But if you did a PowerPoint presentation or you wanted to hey, look, Spoust has got uh, some emails there. Um, See if I can open that here. I think it's going to try to open on my other monitor. Yeah, it is. One second. So Spousta drew this up for me. And, uh, you know, so I could collaborate with anybody in the room here. Now, again, I don't have anybody in the room, but if you were in VR, you'd be sitting there with your avatar um, and you'd be seeing me and I'd be talking and I could explain my design to you and uh or whatever i wanted to to collaborate on right so as you can see this is extremely powerful the desktop pass through let me turn that on which you can't see in the video i'm sorry allows me to see my mouse and my keyboard i can look at my phone for instance i just turned my phone on now again it's kind of grainy it's not very high resolution and it's black and white but if you need a portal into the real world to to do something that you can't do quite in this VR, then, all right, where's my hand tracking? Come on. Oh, I got to get my controller. There we go. Hand tracking. Why ain't it coming on? There we go. Sometimes a little laggy turning on hand tracking, but, you know, and with the hand tracking, again, I can uh, bring up my computer. I can turn off the sharing on the whiteboard all by using my hand. I don't have to use this controller. So, um, again, though, if you want to interact with your PC, you got to reach over, looking through the pass-through, grab your mouse, and, uh, you know, then you can operate your PC from, with your mouse, right? So, uh, pretty dang cool. And, and, of course, you can change these. Let me uh, show you some other things here. So, let me get rid of that. And I'm going to change. I don't want to change my avid. Wait a minute. I want to go into my rooms here. And uh, so I'm going to change the seating layout. So you can do several layouts. This is standard like business, I guess you could call it. There's conversation. My controller keeps interrupting my. Um, and as you can see, it's more like this. And there would be the video of someone who's in Zoom. So this is more like talking. Whiteboard's behind you if you wanted it. You also have presentation mode. So if you wanted to give a presentation to a bunch of people, they'd be sitting in these seats. By the way, one of the things is you can see the shrink table to fit. You can add more people. And when you do, the table gets longer. And you notice like this one has two tables. So if you can get enough, I don't know exactly how many people you could get in this, but it's, it's far more than four. Uh, like this round table, you can have far more than four. So you can come in here, collaborate. Now what's really cool is look, I'm in... I'm in the mountains somewhere, looking out the windows. Got a got a deer with an Oculus Quest on. You know, it's just unbelievable. And there's other things I can't show. You know, I can show you in here. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I can switch position of my seat. Oh, I can walk up to the whiteboard. So if if I was doing a presentation and I wanted to act like I was in the real world, I literally can be up at the whiteboard. I can draw on the whiteboard. Or if I've got a presentation from my PC and I could have a remote for going to the next slide, I can point, I can talk about my slides while standing in front of the whiteboard. Since I'm sitting here in front of my desk and I didn't make a, uh, the room big enough, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to show you that, but you can actually do that. That's what this is. Go to the whiteboard. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Don't forget your controllers, okay? Choose a safe place for your whiteboard. Uh, confirm. Turn around, face the whiteboard. Okay. Confirm position. Stand at whiteboard. Continue. All right. See, I'm now at the whiteboard looking at people at the desk. Right? And I can draw. I can do things. It looks like I have to walk a little further to get there. Now, how do I get out of this? Go to desk. And I muted my mic. Accidentally, whoop. Accidentally muted my mic. But as you saw, I walked up to the whiteboard. Uh, 
you need to be able to move around. So you got to make sure that your guardian and everything is set up to give you a little bit of move around so you can walk around in the room. Uh, anyway, it's just so cool. I, personally, I would much rather do this with coworkers than Zoom calls because, I mean, sure, you got whiteboards and everything, but everything's flat. Everything's, I mean, it's just not interactive. Um, I wish I had some people in my room so I could show you more what they look like and how you interact with them, but they can talk to you. You can talk to them. You can look at them. They can see your hands. You can do expressions. Um, and again, just freaking totally cool. I, I think, I think Facebook here is, and this is my PC. And by the way, each person sitting can pull up their PC so they can have their PC in front of them. Uh, which they can minimize. So if they need to check an email because they got an email from work, something like that, they can do that. Um, and each person could pull up their own PC. Not my PC, their PC. They can see their desk through the desk. It's amazing that I can grab this. And I didn't line it up quite right, but the edge of this is not really at the edge of my desk. It's step back simply because I set it up quickly. Um, Again, it's just amazing. It's just absolutely amazing. I think Facebook has nailed it with this. Now, this is beta, so there's a few little bugs. You saw some things um, took a little while to kick in, like when I grab a controller and turn on the controllers, see, and I want to go back to hand tracking, and I set the controller down. It takes me a little bit to get the hands back. What is that? I haven't, Oh, I don't know what that is must be some menu I don't have or something's not implemented. Anyway, so I just kind of wanted to show this off. It just came out. It's in beta. Uh, I think as they improve it, you know, as we saw software releases for the Quest 2 come out, we saw hints of this pass-through. We saw hints of other pass-through, like you can put your couch in pass-through and literally sit down on your couch. Uh, and there's a bunch of other stuff. But now I'm seeing where they're going from a professional point of view um, as far as meetings and socializing or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and this is this is pretty damn cool. I'm you know, I, I know you're seeing it in 2D and I'm recording at 1080, but uh, this just blows my mind. I mean, we're, if they're going there with this, this is going to make VR, you know, I could see companies buying VR to be more productive it remotely period anyway thought i'd share so let me uh stop recording here and uh have a good one and we'll see you later